Welcome to this BR146.2 electric locomotive in DB traffic red livery. During this brief introduction, we will go through the startup, stopping, and passenger door operations. Climb aboard to get started. The battery will power up the control desk and allow you to interact with it. This locomotive A lot of your time will be spent in the driver's seat. To get the locomotive up and running, set the master switch. Headlights are important. Now activate the pantograph so that it raises up and makes contact with the overhead catenary. The locomotive is now ready to be energized. This is controlled by the main circuit breaker. Use the master switch to determine the direction of travel. Give a quick glance of the platform to ensure all is safe, and then unlock the doors. Boarding is now complete, so set the doors to locked. When stopped for longer periods of time, or when... Due to the size and weight of this train, small amounts of traction should be used to overcome initial friction and prevent overpowering the electrical systems. OK, folks, if you do things exactly now like I did just then, you should have no issues with this um, introduction because there is a bug with this issue, uh, with this game, uh, with this particular introduction for the, um, not only Train Sim World 2, but Train Sim World 2020. A lot of people have had issues with this, um, with this uh, including myself, I've had issues as well. But if you take the steps, what I just did just then, look at the back wall, and continue to look at the back wall you shouldn't have no issues whatsoever getting it up and going so you got to make sure that that um, the battery you got to charge the battery again before you actually get going because they'll just cut out and it just won't work so do exactly what I did just then and you should have no issues coasting is a method used to easily move without engaging there's a short distance between here and your next stop so be sure to manage the train and prevent over speeding
We are on the final approach to Gimunden, and will soon need to start applying a small amount of brake force to achieve a comfortable stop. Like before, unlock the doors to allow passenger boarding to commence. work. That concludes all the basics of this locomotive. Well, there we go with the BR146.2 introduction for Train Sim World 2. Now, this um, particular um, introduction, folks, uh, you will have issues with it. I can't tell you that much. I was having issues with this before I actually did this video, and I tried a couple times to try to get this up and going. And what happens is... Um, the pentagraph um, and the battery just completely cuts out and you can't get up to speed with the train. So what I was doing there on um, uh, on the back wall, uh, you seen what I was doing with the back wall, continue to, uh, what you have to do is try to reset the battery again and reset it and, and turn it off and then and then hold it again to, to actually turn it back on and you shouldn't have any issues um getting the train up and going with the speed so do exactly like uh, i've done here on the introduction and you should have no problems whatsoever and that's what we're here for to help you out i'm the godfather of the rails and we will see you on our next introduction for train sim world 2 we've got another one coming up in the main spazard barn on the bottom of the screen there now we've got a couple other main spazard introductions for train sim world's preserved collection for train sim world 2 bye bye for now